The anti-cryptocurrency movement appears to have come to an end, which is a positive development as reported by the news today. A significant factor contributing to the growing acceptance of cryptocurrencies among individuals in the United States is the instance of Ripple. It is being used as a model or basis by other cryptocurrency companies that are litigating against the SEC. Despite the fact that people are enthusiastic and there is a second wave of institutional acceptance on the horizon, which we will be doing an investigation into. There is still a long way to go before the anti-crypto campaign and crooked goal of Biden's government are finished. And even though Kamala Harris has stepped forward to replace Biden, not much much will change. The extent of corruption that exists within the government of Biden and Harris has been made public. This is the conflict that Ripple and XRP have been fighting for a long time, along with the rest of the cryptocurrency industry, yet Ripple and XRP are the ones that are on the front lines and in a territory that is not dominated by anybody else. Firstly, I have something important to discuss with you. Cryptocurrency is the only thing I care about. I'm not for Trump, Harris, or even JFK Jr. Be confident that the party you vote for will aid in the expansion of cryptocurrency. That is the only thing that concerns me. According to the current state of affairs, it would appear that the government led by Biden Harris is not in support of Bitcoin. The oversight panel claims that in their study that is 300 pages long, it has been demonstrated that Joe Biden has engaged in activities that could result in his impeachment. They presented evidence that Vice President Joe Biden violated his oaths and abused his office by participating in a scheme to sell his influence in order to enrich his family while he was serving as vice president. In a move that is absolutely incomprehensible, the administration of Vice President Joe Biden stopped the inquiry into his impeachment by the House of Representatives, as well as the criminal investigation of Biden's son once he became president. It has been asserted that the documentation constitutes the most compelling argument for the impeachment of any president that has ever been investigated. On the other hand, the falsehoods and corruption do not end there. That the apple doesn't seem to fall very far from the tree, even with Kamala Harris, is something that we can hear in this story that was published on CNBC. In comparison to Joe Biden, it's probable that Kamala Harris is a little more amenable to the idea of cryptocurrency. It is not her main concern, and there is a possibility that the company may still have to deal with stringent regulations. Pay close attention to this. Berg concluded by saying, we think Kamala Harris is more open to crypto and digital assets than Joe Biden. On the other hand, we do not believe that this is significant, and we believe that in the future, the industry may continue to face opposition from lawmakers. Cyberg, however, stated that it might not be as obvious of a connection to Trump, saying that Trump has become a fan of cryptocurrency in recent months, which has resulted in a change in his image. On the other hand, we know from the past that this does not necessarily imply that Trump's regulators will be more lenient toward cryptocurrency during his second term than they were during his first term. A request has been made to Vice President Harris by the cryptocurrency industry. Make a greater effort to treat digital assets with more respect now that she is president rather than Vice President Biden. This article from the Washington Reporter, which includes sources within the Senate, provides additional evidence that supports this assertion. There is a statement that suggests that if Kamala Harris is elected, she will most likely select Gary Gensler, who worked for her, to serve as the Treasury Secretary. It is a dreadful thing. As a joke, David Schwartz, the chief technology officer of Ripple, adds, good news if Harris wins, he will fire Gary Gensler as CC chair before the end of his term without a doubt. Because Gary Gensler as finance secretary would be a much worse situation and might make people even less receptive of cryptocurrency, this whole thing is kind of a make-believe. In light of this, it would appear that Kamala Harris has been dishonest, or perhaps I should say misled us when she has been discussing a planned reset and the acceptance of cryptocurrency. The reality is far different from what is being asserted. I mean, Gary Gensler serving as the secretary of finance is a very peculiar choice. This is the individual who was presented with a charge of discrimination yesterday due to the fact that they forced an expert to delay the publication of a study for nine months, which examined the ways in which restrictions affect small audit businesses. It is entirely and utterly insane to think that. As an illustration, this demonstrates that his policies are beneficial to large audit firms, but detrimental to small enterprises. However, as the head of the Securities and Exchange Commission, it is his responsibility to safeguard investors and small enterprises in general. On account of this, Gary Guetta need to be terminated. There will be a full-scale war if the existing establishments, including Elizabeth Warren, Gary Gander, and the rest of the establishments continue to hold power. Therefore, in order to better manage the upcoming cryptocurrency cycle, you need to acquire more knowledge and gain an understanding of how the market is feeling. As a result, I have just created a Discord server that is open to anyone and everyone without charge. We will all be working together to gain a better understanding of how to locate the genuine money makers and crypto jewels on it with the ultimate goal of participating in the largest wealth transfer in the history of the world. Our continuing expanding at a breathtaking rate, the organization now has 225 members and is continuing to expand. Please feel free to join us as we are all gaining a lot of knowledge. In the description that follows, you will find the link to join. 
However, there is a silver lining if Kamala Harris and the administration of Joe Biden are successful. I believe that Ripple and XRP have already crossed the threshold of nomads land and there is nothing that can stop them or cryptocurrency from moving further. Also included are Sky, Ripple, Stewart, and Alderati. During this discussion about the crypto law, he states that he does not believe it will come as a surprise if the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC takes the matter up with the court. I estimate that they have over 40 days remaining. But it is the law, and even if the SEC files an appeal, it will not change since it is the law. Due to the fact that XRP is not a security, trading it on the secondary market does not constitute a transaction involving a security. They are no longer able to take any action. Take a listen to this. In this particular instance, nothing assists the SEC in performing its primary function. When it comes to crypto, however, we are all aware of that fact. That is not a logical argument as demonstrated by the SEC. In point of fact, the court that considered our case reprimanded the SEC for engaging in dishonest behavior and playing games in court rather than adhering to the law. This would not come as a surprise to me if the SEC did in fact file an appeal. Let me begin by stating a few things, however. The very first thing that I would like for people to know, and I believe that this is necessary, as not being a security and the sale of XRP on the secondary market, which is not considered to be a security. That is the law. And even if the Securities and Exchange Commission files an appeal, it will not alter. Kindly pay notice to that. Thank you. During this interview, a number of individuals, including Chris Giancarlo, who had previously served as the head of the Commodity Futures Trading Commission CFTC, stated that the Securities and Exchange Commission CC has demonstrated that they are unable to prevail in this battle regardless of the actions they take. Regardless of who emerges victorious in this bull market, XRP and other cryptocurrencies will experience a meteoric rise in value. My prediction is that this will be the most significant bull market that we have ever witnessed, as you can see here on CNBC. Wall Street is currently a part of the second wave of institutional acceptance, which is currently taking place. The US spot Bitcoin ETs is owned by Goldman Sachs, which has a stake of $418 million. Pay close attention to this. There are some fresh concepts regarding the ways in which institutions could utilize Bitcoin utilizing those US spot Bitcoin ETFs. In addition, Goldman Sachs invested more than half of that sum, which is equivalent to $418 million in seven different exchange traded funds ETFs that are based in the United States. According to BlackRock, the EBIT fund is managed. It is also interesting to note that their chief information officer, Sir CIO, stated in April to the Wall Street Journal that their wealth management unit's clients were not very interested in purchasing that product. Vanek also stated to CNBC that the significant selling of Bitcoin has come to an end, which is an even more positive development. Bitcoin is experiencing a surge in popularity, and many individuals are interested in purchasing, purchasing it. According to Renek, Bitcoin will soon be in a healthy state once more. Every single one of these chats is broadcast on major news networks such as CNBC, Bloomberg, and similar outlets. At this point, I believe that the war against cryptocurrency has finally come to an end because it is gaining more popularity, acceptance, and use. It makes no difference what Kamala Harris or anyone else does, the cryptocurrency market will see the most wild and explosive bull market in the history of the world. Without a doubt, I believe that my play on XRP will be one of the profitable assets throughout this cycle. The law is on their side and they are getting closer and closer to reaching a settlement agreement. There is no doubt that it will happen. Everyone in the cryptocurrency business will play a significant role in the election that will take place in November. At this moment, you should conduct your own